This video demonstrates the use of interactive groundwater to perform a simple particle tracking analysis using both forward and reverse tracking. The flow model created in tutorial 1 is used to illustrate this example. Various forms of releasing particles are illustrated, namely along a polyline as individual points, within a polygon, and around a pumping well. The video also illustrates the impact of local dispersion on particle tracking by comparing the particle paths with and without dispersion. Step 1. Load the IGW model from the previous example of a simple groundwater model. Step 2. Discretize and run the model. 3. Place particles along a line segment. Select Add Particles to Along a Polyline from the toolbar and place the polyline along the left boundary of the model. Use the default setting for the number of particles and insert the particles as a 2D matrix at the default prescribed elevation. Note the 3D option would allow the user to place the particles within the prescribed elevation range. 4. Assign a time step. Along the left hand side of the IGW workspace, enter 5000 in the text box below time step. The units could be changed by clicking on the box to the right of the text box, but we will use days in this example. 5. Run the model forward. Notice the advection of the particles along the flow paths. 6. Stop running the model and delete the particles using the Delete Particles icon in the Icon Toolbar. Then click on the Reset Particle Clock icon in the Icon Toolbar. 7. Place particles at individual points near the well using the default settings for each particle location. Run the model backwards using the Run Model Backwards icon in the Icon Toolbar. Eight, using the Icon Toolbar, stop the model, reset the particle positions, reset the particle clock, and delete the particles. Nine, click on the Add Particles Around a Well icon to add particles to the well in the model. In the window that appears, check the well that we would like to add particles to. In this example, there is only one well to add particles. The user may define the number of particles to add to each well, as well as the vertical settings that we saw when using a polyline to place particles. Finally, we input the radius at which the particles will be placed around the well. 10. To resolve the particle paths in finer detail, reduce the time step and run the model backward. Eleven. Stop the model, delete the particles, and reset the particle clock. Twelve. Place particles within a prescribed area within the modeling domain. Use the Add Particles in Polygon icon to single click at the vertex locations and double click to close the polygon. Thirteen. Run the model forwards and note the advection of particles on the flow paths towards the well. Note that dispersion has not been modeled. 14. Edit the aquifer polygon properties in Attributes Explorer. Go to the Transport Properties tab and underneath Local Dispersion, check the Longitudinal and Transverse boxes. Enter the longitudinal and transverse dispersivities in the text boxes provided. Perform a shallow discretization of the model, reset the particle clock, and run the model forward. Note the different transport of the particles now that dispersion has been modeled.